On the face of it, this is a very strong jobs report. 315,000 jobs added on the month. We've had essentially a winning streak with respect to the number of jobs that are being added monthly. It's just that this one is a little cooler than the month before. It's true the unemployment rate rose two tenths of one percent to three point seven percent, but we got an additional eight hundred thousand Americans in the workforce, and that is part of the solution toward addressing the eleven point two million job openings that we have compared to six million officially unemployed. So it may be that the job market will continue to cool in the coming months, but it's still red hot from the Federal Reserve's perspective, given the imbalance between the jobs that are open and the number of Americans who are available to fill those millions of positions. We're not necessarily seeing a big pullback on the part of the consumer yet with respect to higher interest rates, but inflation is doing part of that work for the Fed. There's an old saying, the cure for high prices is high prices, and a recent bank rate survey indicated that almost half of Americans are now pulling back on discretionary purchases as one way of preparing for what they fear is a possible recession between now and the end of next year. If the Fed is successful in putting a number of interest rate hikes through, perhaps one as soon as later this month, the impact of that will be seen on the job market, that will be seen in fewer jobs added, and a continued rise in the unemployment rate. So some of the recent data we've seen with respect to employment may be as good as it gets, meaning we could have bottomed out on unemployment at 3.5% now that we've risen to 37 and we may well see a continued stair-stepping lower with respect to the number of jobs that are added in coming months.